Hey, today I'm looking into these fuel injectors here. This is from a 1999 Nissan Maxima 3 liter. And I've got the uh, fuel injector rail. This is the, uh, the 135 injectors. And I've got the whole rail here and I've got the uh, fuel line. I I'll briefly go over what I've got set up here. I've got the f pressurized fuel coming in through here. And the output here is goes to this uh, pressure regulator valve that's vacuum actuated. And I've just got that connected to a ball valve and I've got that plugged off right now. And what I've got here is a, um, got a connector that runs to a power supply and I can plug that into the injector and activate it. And I've got a remote control button here that when I briefly momentarily press the button, I'll get uh, the uh, injector to open. And I've also got a, so I've got a 12 and a half volt power supply that's running through a current meter. And so I can measure the current that the uh, injectors are requiring. And so what I'm gonna do, start off with uh, 34 PSI, that's the uh, minimum, that's the regulated uh, idle uh, pressure. And so when you uh, apply a vacuum here to this, uh, pressure regulator. It sets the uh, pressure in, in the rail to 34 PSI. That's a, a lower pressure when, for when the car is not under a load. And when you remove the vacuum, and that, si that simulates the engine being under a load and the vacuum dropping out and going away. When you do that, the pressure ramps up to 43 PSI. And so what I'm gonna do is just dial, I've got a, a quick disconnect here. I've got some fuel poured in up to about this level. I don't need much fuel just going to be spraying it briefly and I'm outside so I can uh, plug in this quick disconnect of air and dial up the pressure to be 34 psi and then hit the button and see what the spray pattern looks like under the various conditions and I can show you right now um, with this one plugged in and there's no pressure let me put the camera down on there you can actually see it just drip a little bit with no pressure at all. Let me zoom in on this one injector. So I'm on this injector here. And I've got no pressure really. It's just uh, but you can see every time I push the button, there's a drip. So the injector is working and my um, a current meter saying about 1.2 amps when I do that. And so now I'm gonna back up the camera a little bit and I'm going to uh, dial up the pressure to 34 PSI. And we'll see what the spray pattern looks like. Here we go. Now when I push the button, I'm expecting uh, quite a bit of difference this time. Oh yeah, quite, quite a lot of fuel comes out of there. And I'm pressing it just as briefly as I can. Pretty cool. So now I'm going to move down. I don't know if you can see that on the paper. I'm gonna move down to this other injector here. And I'm gonna move over. I'm on the uh, injector number three. I'm going back the Now maybe you can see the pattern when it hits the, uh, the paper on this injector. I'm just gonna briefly tap it. And I'm gonna check this other injector here. We go to the uh, number one injector now. I might be I might be almost running out of fuel here. We'll see. I don't know how much is left in the rail. Let's move here on this one now.
They look like they're working pretty good to me. I made a circuit once before, the last time I did this, to drive the uh, injectors with a very fine pulse. But uh, this time I didn't want to feel like messing around with that. I just thought I could just pulse it myself and it looks like it's fine. They look like they're working pretty good to me. So now I'm going to look into this, uh, how this, uh oh, this one's got a problem. You see that? Injector one is just uh, leaking. I'm going to fire it one time and see what happens. So that's a that's a bad injector right there. I still just got 34 psi on it. Interesting. So I found a bad injector. <laughs> Doesn't seem to always be bad, but it just. I think I'm out of fuel at the moment. Well, now that I'm out of fuel, I'm going to show you this other part of the. Uh, I want to show you this in, this how this uh, fuel pressure regulator works. Looks like this ball valve is uh, dripping a little bit too. So I'm at 34 psi. I'm going to apply a vacuum, full vacuum. And see what happens when I open it. So now if I uh, I'm at 34 PSI and you can hear it's just flowing, right? Flowing air. If I remove the vacuum, you can hear it stops. Now I'm going to go up to 40 PSI. I can actually hear it coming out of that injector there. But watch what happens when I, um, when I, when I apply vacuum. It starts uh, flowing the, the more of the excess fuel away. So right now it's simulating uh, with no vacuum. It's simulating the engines under a lot of load, so it's raising the fuel pressure in the rail. And then when I apply vacuum, it is uh, venting away the fuel and decreasing the, the fuel pressure. And you can see over here on the gauge, it's just holding steady at 34. But if I drop that, you can see it goes up uh, to 40. I'm only applying 40, but I could go even higher. So the regulator is working, and you can hear that constant hiss coming out of that injector there. So that is a, a bad injector right there. And you can also see the um, the meter. It's a uh, it's captured uh, 1.1 amps. It's set on uh, the min max, so it's uh, it recorded the highest inrush current. So the injectors take about an amp when they're firing, and they fire just for uh, very brief times. And uh, 
I'm glad I checked these out. This is a junkyard uh, injector. Of course, it's no good. 